Hello everyone, welcome back to my weekend updates. This last week I did a ton of bug fixing as well as added in a couple new features and so let's take a look. So one thing that I have changed is the brush accuracy is a lot better now. So you can actually place down individual voxels now. So let's uh, limit that edit rate and then we can just start right clicking if we want and it'll place it exactly where we expect it to, as well as you can destroy singular voxels, of course. Uh, another thing is that if I go ahead and make the brush a bit bigger, then what you can see is if I freeze it there, I added the ability to show uh, stripes on it so that you can see what is brush and what is like actually part of the world, because maybe you place the brush here and it's like, oh, what, which one's the brush? It's this one as well as you can see a bounding box for the brush if you'd like. Another thing that I added is another brush, which is the erode brush. It doesn't have a preview and that's because it's actually underneath the terrain. I'm gonna try to figure out if I can fix that, but uh, if I start editing, you'll notice that it starts cutting away at the terrain and it's, it's kind of like it's eroding. Because this brush preview is recalculated every frame, what we can do is we can freeze it in the world and let's turn off this bounding box for now. And if we open up the code editor, I can show you something that's really cool. So if I go to the assets and go to the actual generation settings for this mandel bulb, then if I go in and change the parameters to maybe be uh, relevant to the time of the program, then what we'll see is that it actually changes over time. And so maybe I want to modulate it by eight and add four, so it ranges between four and 12. And so if I save this, we'll see that the brush is actually animated now in the world. And then one other thing that I added is the console down here at the bottom, which allows you to make an error in your shader, like saying 4A, and it'll tell you what that error was. So on brush kernel dot GLSL line 20 right here, there's an unexpected identifier, which is 4A in this instance. All right, that's about it for this week. But if you want to create your own brush, have a look at my tutorial where I walk through making a brush from scratch. Thank you for watching.